What is going on doggies? Welcome back to another video and welcome to our blow up boat challenge. So basically what's happening is we've got this tiny little blow up boat here. What we're gonna do is myself and Mac 10, we're gonna challenge, us at, challenge ourselves. Once we step foot in this tiny little blow up boat, we are not allowed to leave the boat for the next 24 hours, give or take a couple of hours, but let's just call it 24 hours. But to make this little, to make this challenge a real, real challenge, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shark fishing out of this boat. So this river that you see behind me here, it's renowned for catching bull sharks, there's big silver ghosts in here. There's a lot of fish inside this river. And what we wanna do is, we wanna use this tiny little two person inflatable boat to go and catch some big sharks, some big mulloway, some big silver ghosts, something like this. But once we step foot in this boat, we are not allowed back on the mainland until the sun rises tomorrow morning. So we're gonna be doing the whole entire night sitting in this boat and um, we're gonna be trying to catch the biggest fish possible. Sharks, mulloway, big juicy cod, something like that. Stingrays are up here. Anything like that, that is the goal. It is gonna be bloody fun. It's gonna be a challenge, I'll tell you what. Mosquitoes are gonna be thick. But look at this, this is what we're doing. It's the Challenger, it's actually called the Challenger. Let's do this, this is gonna be super fun. So this is one of the many burlies that we're gonna bring the sharks around with. All right, what do we got here? By the looks of things, we've got a couple of, ooh, got a couple of little paddle poles. Instructions, no one needs them. This is obviously our shark fishing craft here. So we're gonna have to pump up this thing. Thankfully, it comes with. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit of a game changer. It actually comes with a pump. Yes. <laughs> couple of these little duvalackies. So we can chase the sharks around. <laughs> it even comes with a bloody anchor rope. So that's all we've got. Basically what I'm guessing is, nope. These just screw into here, like this. Oh, this is our engine for the night. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, it has an extension. We're cooking. Hey. All right, all right, all right. I'll see what's going on here. The Challenger. And that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a bloody challenge, but here she is. She's all blown up, ready for a big night's fishing. And what we've done down the back end here, we've got a little bit of fishing line coming down to a sock. Now this sock is full of fish heads, fish guts, blood, just all dirty, smelly old bits of fish. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna be our barely trail for the night. So no matter where we drift around in this boat, we're gonna be leaving behind a scent. So hopefully, the sharks, the fish, they'll be able to smell this and they'll chase us up. But that's going to be hanging off the back of the boat for all night. Here she is. She's ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Have a look at this. We are finally out on the little boat and we are taking it for the maiden voyage. This thing is tiny. This boat is a lot smaller than it actually looks. I've got no idea how Mac 10 and myself are going to be sleeping, sitting in this boat until the sun rises tomorrow morning. But that is the challenge at hand and that's what we're going to do. So what we've got right now is we've got one fishing rod, a big dirty hook coming down to a steel trace. Now that's hopefully what we're going to be able to plug a shark on. So while we're soaking that bait in the water, we've got two big dirty hand lines. These are just going to be floating strip baits of mullet out the back of this little blow up boat and hopefully Fingers crossed, one of these three items go off and we can land a big juicy fish. Whether it be a big mulloway, a big cod, a big stingray or a big shark, one of those four would be epic. But then again, we're out here, we're fishing. You gotta take the good with the bad. All right, we've got the two hand lines, the one fishing rod 
We've got a bag of supplies here. Now I'll show you guys what's in there a little bit later on. This is gonna make the night a little bit more fun, a little bit more enjoyable. We've got a couple of treats inside that bag there, but this is it. This is pretty much what we're dealing with. There ain't much room in here. Mac 10's gonna have to squish up there. Her legs are gonna come down the side, I suppose. And um, we're just gonna drift all the way down this river with the current and the wind for the whole entire night and see if we can pick up a big shark or a big fish. This is gonna be very, very bloody exciting. Let's go and pick up Mac 10 and kick this challenge in the ass. As soon as that sun goes down, that's when the sharks come out to play. So we're just waiting for that belly to start stinking up the creek. It's gonna drift all the way down and um, let's do this. This is gonna be very, very interesting. There she is, she's up on the bank behind me. Mac 10, we're coming for you. There she is over there. All right, it's gonna get very, very congested on this little blow up boat very, very soon. Here she is, here. Us. 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 Right, all right. We are well and truly underway on this shark fishing mission. <sighs> Mac 10 made it into the boat. It was a little bit of a struggle, to be honest. It's actually very, very small in here. If you guys can see how squished up, we're like two little sardines in a tin can right now. And um, we're not going in until the sun rises tomorrow morning. So, like I said, we've got a couple of supplies in this bag here. The problem that we are facing right now is the current in this creek. We've got high tide, is about to hit in about two hours. So what, that's what we want to do is fish the top of the tide. So I'm going to row ourselves into the middle of the creek tie off into these logs behind us and we're just going to burly the living hell out of the water trying to bring all of these sharks and big fish to us but right now fighting current <laughs> and these little these little bloody paddles oh no these little paddles just bend and flex and look it's definitely not a shark fishing boat but we're going to make it one we need to get to that log over there we'll tie off we'll sit there for a few hours and we'll move on later <sighs> how bloody fun is this going to be Oh my god. Come on little rig. No. Oh. We've just pulled up into this big fallen down tree in the middle of the creek. As you can see here, the current is really strong right now. It's a lot, it's way too strong to be floating around. So Mac Tench is gonna tie us off. And once we're tied off, we're just gonna um, anchor off this tree. Burly the living hell out of the water. And hopefully what's gonna happen is all the fish from down creek, up, up creek there are gonna smell this barely. They're gonna come down here. Hopefully we're gonna have fish on, but um, that's it, good job. Let's go, let's just push off and see what happens. Yeah! All right, we're just gonna barely up the water and that's gonna be it. But this is how much room we've got in this little boat right now. It ain't much. Hey! <laughs> This is gonna be so much fun. All right, let's go. All right, stick them over there. This is so funny. All right, which one is gonna go off first? I reckon the big rod. Look at this, we've got a hand line here. We've got another hand line here. And behind me, I've got the fishing rod. So what we've got going on is the fishing rod's got a steel trace and a hook on it. These two hand lines don't have steel trace, but they've got big dirty hooks with big slabs of mullet on them. So all three rods have big juicy slabs of mullet. And um, this is us for the next couple of hours until this tide turns dead. We're gonna untie off the tree and we're just gonna literally float wherever we float. What we've got in this bag is pretty much gonna keep us sane for the night, hey? Without this bag, I reckon we would go insane. So what we've got is, this is a little bit left field for my videos. I never really have this kind of stuff, but we've got a packet of chips. That's, gonna, that's gonna be dinner. We've got two little boxes of cheese and crackers. We've got a bottle of water, but probably the best thing that's gonna keep us sane tonight is this. We've got a little bit of a goon bag full of red wine. And um, what else we got in here? We've got a bottle of water, two cups, and we've got two sarongs. So we've got the sarongs because I can guarantee you the mozzies are gonna get pretty thick and nasty tonight. They're already bad. You got, she's got bites all over her legs already. Yeah. But um, the, mozzies, be cold. the mozzies are gonna turn it up. Hopefully the sharks turn it up. And um, yeah, we're obviously sleeping on here tonight. So what we, I reckon we'll do is we'll use those little oars, put them up in a triangle, put the sarong over the boat and we'll make some sort of a little house. I don't, I've got no idea. But it's completely winging this. This is super fun and we'll see what happens. We've got about another 10 to 15 minutes before it really starts setting into darkness. Headlight comes out and hopefully a couple of fish come out. Come on, big rig. 
This is so funny. Imagine if we get a shark. I'm 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 frothing. I'm scared. I'm gonna pour. A, I'm gonna pour a wine. All right. This is so funny. Let's go. Oh, I just can't wait for one of these hand lines to start screaming. I just hope the hooks are not gonna penetrate the. Box. Yeah, I know. I hope that we don't come across an un an unforbidden little stick under the water and it pierces the boat. We've just put it. We've just put out ten kilos of burley in the water. Oh, All right, this night has officially started. The wine's come out to play. We've got a packet of chips open, and that sun is pumping down. So if you have a look over there, that's the sunset over there, and there is not much left of it. It is about to get. Very, very dark, very, very quickly. So hopefully one of these three baits gets smashed very soon and we can um, have a little bit of fun with a shark. We've caught some big sharks here before, but never ever in a little baby blow up boat. So this is the challenge for the night and I'm very excited about it. We've got a couple of cows feeding over there. Cockies were just absolutely dancing and singing, singing in the trees and that's pretty much all you can hear. So beautiful scenery. It's about to get very, very dark. Headlights are going to come out to play. Hopefully the sharks come out to play as well. Let's do this, girl. It's going to be a wild night. It is going to be a very interesting night. The mosquitoes are pretty friendly so far. Wait till that sun goes down. Anyway, we'll update you if one of those three baits go off. And uh, we're just going to sit back and enjoy this beautiful scenery. Mm. Hopefully we get a shark. I really, really, really hope we get a big shark, big bull shark in this boat. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm not keen on that, hey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll be right. We'll be safe in here. Anyway, we're two meters to the shore, five meters that way and 15 meters that way to the shore. So it's only a short swim in. Righto, we'll update you if we get a fish. This is gonna be sick. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's do it. Oh, it's getting dark. Yeah, that sun's pumping <laughs> down. Look at it. All right, here we go. A little bit of an update. It is just gone nine o'clock at night. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but that is just, we've just gone nine o'clock at night. Not one of the hand lines has gone off. This rod behind me is still sitting pretty. The moon has come out to play and um, it is a beautiful night. Mac 10's a little bit cold. <laughs> the mosquitoes, I'll tell you what, the mosquitoes at sunset I still have on my head. She's, my getting... <laughs> She's getting bitten on the forehead by mosquitoes. The mosquitoes at sunset were like proper, proper next level. We had this full sarong like covering all of our body parts, but right now they've kind of gone. The wind has completely dropped off. You can see that beautiful moon in the background. It's just glistening over there. And um, that's an update, nine o'clock. <laughs> There's not, not a lot going on. Mac 10 is pretty much ready for bed. You're getting tired, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's my bedtime, hey. It's already bedtime. We've got a big <laughs> night ahead of us, but it's going to be in it to win it. We just can keep putting Burley out. What I had before, I had the bait tucked up behind me here and it started defrosting. So what we've done now is we've put the mullet in the sock over there. So we've got all of our bait soaking in the water, which kind of sucks. It's going to go soggy, but we can't have the bait sitting in here with us right now. It's just, this is this is our home for the night. So it's <laughs> nuts. It was getting all soggy and I got a wet baity ass right now. Anyway, that's the update. We're um, just floating down this river. We've tied off of that pole. That pole is, I don't know how many, I don't know how far up the river it is, but we've tied off the pole and we're literally just floating. There is not much current, <coughs> current right now, so. Good times. It's a beautiful night. It is. It is, a, it is an incredible night in our little fishing <laughs> shark fishing boat. Hopefully sooner or later one of these hand lines or this rod goes spastic and we can um, pull up a shark on the side of this little blow up boat. Fingers crossed. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't. I can't. Yeah, grab that, grab that, grab that. No. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, hold on, hold that rod, please. You're gonna be like Titanic. No. <laughs> this is the third time this has happened tonight. It's too cold. Hold on, let me get out of here, babe. Oh, what does that sound? Is it pierced? I don't know. Uh, it's quite... Go, go, oh, back, back, back. I can't. Oh, shit, what is that? Oh, it's the burly sock. Oh, oh okay, we're out of that tree. Oh. My God, how many times is this gonna happen tonight? That's hectic. That's actually quite spooky, eh? Oh. 
Let's not make that happen ever again. Oh, man. Well, that was a bloody close call. It's the third close call we've had tonight. So what's happening is we've untied off of that tree and we're just drifting very slowly. We're just drifting there. See, there's part of the tree there. We're just very slowly drifting with this current and we're just dragging the baits around with that barely sock out the back. But what's happening is there's submerged trees everywhere. And that tree there was not a submerged one. And we're just like, it's pretty hard to see out here. And then you just, you just hear the blow up boat dragging over pieces of wood. So this is the last place I want to be getting swimming in with a bloody river full of burly right now. <laughs> eh? oh, that was the third tree that we've, we've gone into and we don't have any holes in our little blow up boat yet. So we're looking good. Still no fish. Time is 10.48 at night. It's about time for that cheese and crackers, eh? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna go, we're gonna row up creek where we just drifted down and um, see if we can find a branch to tie off onto because this is getting a bit hectic actually. Drifting around in a blow up boat nearly at midnight ain't cool. <laughs> I can't even see where I'm going. Just literally, <laughs> I'm just literally just cruising right now. But it's gonna be worth it. If we can get a mull away or a shark, I'm telling you worth every second. I can't believe that didn't pop the boat. Oh, it in. <sighs> All right, this is what the big juicy baits are looking like out here. So that's the bait that we're putting on the rod and reel. It's pretty much half of a mullet cut in half Big dirty hook straight through the top of the lip there. And that's it, very simple setup. Pretty much what we're doing is exposing the hook as much as possible. So we're just dragging that along the bottom. We're actually not dragging it on the bottom anymore. We're tied off onto another log right now. So we're not moving. These baits are just sitting still and we're chucking heaps of pellets and little bits of mullet out in the water so we can barely up. But look, it is pretty bloody quiet out here. The mosquitoes, they come in and out in waves. The wind has gone dead and it's kind of a nice night there's just no action it's going to be one of those nights where we sit here for a bloody long time and then it's just boom you get one big dog comes and inhales a bait but that's what we're using for bait tonight big juicy pieces of mullet like that hopefully fingers crossed something has a sniff of this and um badunk. hopefully something has a sniff of that tonight and we um hook up fingers crossed Ugh. All we can do is sit here and wait. Come on, you big dog, where are you? One of these have to go off soon, come on. Look at Mac 10, she's dead asleep right now. <laughs> she's covering up from the mosquitoes. She's curled up into a ball. I don't have a lot of leg space here. I'm like a little cricket. She's having a good little kip, but still no luck on either one of the hand lines or the rod behind me. Come on, give us a fish, please. It's really dirty water. Come on, come on. Maybe get a fish on the deck. <laughs> Did you hear that? What was that? Did that just... Shark? I don't know, something massive just, just boofed the surface of the water over there. That was... That woke you up, sorry, I'm being hell loud. <laughs> that was something big. I saw you fell in. <laughs> huh? I saw you fell in. <laughs> something just exploded the, surf, the surface of the water about six metres, seven metres away from us over there. It wasn't a bird, it was definitely something in the water. It is a very, very quiet night. Not one of these hand lines have gone off. Mac 10's having one hell of a sleep. The time is currently, what have we got? 12.14, so it's actually the next day right now. So we're past midnight, still having a crack. There's nothing has been touched. I don't know what's going on. I'm not giving up, I'm never giving up. We'll sit here till the sun rises. Hopefully we'll get something. 
mosquitoes come and go in waves i'm pretty getting pretty busted up right now what i'm trying to do is actually is i'm sitting here like a little crab so mac 10's got enough room to curl up in a ball on the front there <laughs> look look <laughs> at your look, look at your little face <laughs> anyway this is the uh shark fishing mission it is not going to plan right now but hopefully we get a big dirty bull shark has a sniff of one of these three baits and he comes and has a buff all right you go back to sleep I'm gonna have another wine and um, cover my legs up from these bloody mosquitoes. All right, good night. I'll see you soon, doggies, when we get one of these hand lines screaming. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, please. Get out of here, you mongrels. All right, doggies, this is an update and it's not a very bloody fun one. It is about 2.30 in the morning. We have had not even one little nibble on the hand line. The rod hasn't even been bumped yet, and um, the mozzies have come back in force. So what we're doing right now is we're using one of these sarongs. I'm actually, we've actually made a tent out of the sarong. So you guys can see this. We're sort of just hanging it on the side of the boat here like this, and I'm just draping it over my head here. Mac 10's up the front, she's cold out. She's sleeping like a log. And she's got the sarong all, all over her body so the mosquitoes aren't biting us and um we're literally just sitting here floating we're actually not floating we're tied off to another log and i've got the, all three rods out we've got two hand lines out we've got the fishing rod out fresh bait i've just freshly baited them up again and um all we can do is wait there's nothing else i can do right now except for wait so just fingers crossed there's a shark or a mulloway or a big stingray or some kind of big animal that just swims through this creek and it picks up one of these baits and we're going to have some hell fun getting pulled around by that fish. But until then, I'm going to be hiding out underneath this, this, this mosquito shelter and um, hopefully next time I check, check in with is, it's going to be tight lines. Either hand line or fishing rod is just getting absolutely smoked. But until then, we will stay persistent and sleep is not an option. Yeah, doggies, it is a beautiful night out here though. Check this out. It is a really, look at the water, it is still, it is as beautiful as ever, there's not a, there's not a breath of wind right now, it's pretty good, the mozzies are just psycho, righto, next time I see you guys, we're going to have a fish on the deck, hopefully. <clears throat> oh. Oh my good gosh. Good morning doggies. Welcome to the next day and welcome. We are still alive. <laughs> little, little Mac 10 up here. We survived. We didn't she's, pierce it. She's freezing. I am so tired. The sun is just, the, this light has just become enough to start filming again. Look at this. We are floating down the river still. And, um, yeah, we obviously didn't get any sharks. We didn't get any stingrays. We didn't get any mulloway last night. What I have found out is that this, this boat has this incredible little fishing rod holder. So that's there. We're completely out of bait. And I really did think last night that we were going to get on to some big fish or some big sharks. But you're going to take the good with the bad. Look, we didn't get any. We didn't even get a bite last night. We didn't even get a run last night. We got nothing last night. But... Look, you got to look at the positive in life and one of the positive things is that we didn't put a hole in this blow up boat last night. We've been bouncing, well drifting down this river for the majority of the night and we didn't put a hole in the boat. We've been coming very close to trees, snags and all these little black rocks and stuff in the water. So we didn't put a hole in the boat, which is a good thing. Mac 10's had a, had a, had a solid nine hours sleep, oh, haven't you? Oh, that's it. You've had a solid Ooh. nine hours sleep. I've had about three, I actually did have about three hours of solid sleep last night. But I just woke up to the sound of a mozzie going Nyeh! in my ear and um, it is time to row back to where we started this mission yesterday. Unfortunately, we didn't get a fish, but that's all good. What we're going to do today is we're going to start a new mission. I'm not too sure what that mission is going to be, but we are going to start a new mission and um, see where the day takes us. With a little bit of a row, 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 row your boat back to where we started. We'll make a game plan from there, but I suppose once we get back to the headquarters, the first thing is a coffee. Coffee? <laughs> yes. 
I am frothing for a coffee, all right. Let's row our way back to where we started yesterday and we'll make a game plan for the day. It is not over. We will not be defeated. Well, let's get back to where we started. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. <laughs> I'm going crazy, bro. <laughs> We actually drifted pretty far. I'm so excited to stretch my legs. Oh, I'm like a stiff old man. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting getting out of this thing. Oh, I've got a fishing line everywhere. Oh. All right, I'll see you in the afternoon. <laughs> Go and get that shark that we went for. All right, it's just you and me, doggies. We're on a mission to do something incredible today. Let's leave Mac 10 out there. She didn't even catch fish last night. Nah, come on. Let's go and have a mission. Let's go and have a hell journey today. First things first, we need coffee. Oh, <laughs> Are your legs held stiff? <laughs> what, that's super slippery, be careful. Oh, look at it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so slippery, eh? Oh. Oh. Well, I did, that did not go to plan, did it? No, it was a crazy thing. Yeah, it was pretty fun. It was an, it was an extremely fun night, but it just did not go to plan. All right. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Nothing's going to plan today. Oh. <laughs> Oh, things you do for a little bit of fun, eh? Yeah. Oh, yep, there you go. There's the boat, here's back 10. We went out, we gave it a good crack. We tried shark fishing out of this little blow up boat. And I tell you one thing for free, this mission is not over. We will catch a shark out of this blow up boat one day. But this mission, it is done and dusted. Obviously we didn't get a shark, but it was very bloody fun to be out there. Um, we did spend the whole entire night in that little boat. It was, good, it was good fun and that's what life's about, having fun. So that is it from us doggies. If you enjoyed this little video, make sure you smash the subscribe button. If you wanna grab some merch, make sure you bang this button here. And me and Mac10, we will see you in the next video on the next adventure. Much love, doggies, and thank you for watching. Ciao. Ow!